Hello, and welcome to this module on the OCI Data Transfer Service. After completing this lesson, you should be able to describe the need for the Data Transfer Service and understand how to create transfer jobs, transfer devices, and transfer packages. The Data Transfer Service is an, is an offline data transfer solution that lets you migrate large volumes of data to the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Using the data transfer service, you can transfer hundreds of terabytes of data on commodity hard drives and ship them to Oracle to an Oracle transfer site. The data transfer service provides significantly faster data uploads compared to over the wire data transfers. You can use data transfer service for moving large and small data sets. When you should really use data transfer service depends on how large your data set and what your internet, internet connectivity looks like. It doesn't make sense to use the data transfer service all the time. If you were trying to move 10 terabytes of data and you have a 10 gigabit per second connectivity, say using FastConnect, it will take about two hours to move the entire data set. Having said that, there is a sweet spot for the data transfer service as shown in the picture here. Using data transfer service, you can move your 10 terabytes or even 10 petabytes of data within a two week time period. Now let's talk about the use cases for this service. First, the first one's obvious. I have a large amount of data to move, but I don't have the bandwidth to do so. Other use cases where the customer has a good bandwidth, but they cannot dedicate full bandwidth for data transfer due to other application workloads might make use of the data transfer service. In that case, uh, the data transfer service should be evaluated and considered as a possible option. And the last one is to move edge data periodically to the cloud. If the customer has multiple remote sites that lack good or solid internet connectivity, they can utilize the data transfer service to periodically move this data up to the cloud for storage and for processing. When it comes to data migration, there are four high level requirements that the customers ask for. First is, the data, is that they need data security. When we are moving their data to the cloud, we need to provide assurance to the customer that their data is secure at all times. The second one is related to performance. Along with security, they want data to be transferred as quickly as possible. The third requirement is chain of custody, or the visibility thereof. They always want to know where their data is at any point in time. They want to know at what stage the data transfer is so they can track where the data is and when it's going to get to the cloud. And finally, it has to be easy to use. If you have all security, speed, and chain of custody, but it's not easy to use, it defeats the purpose. The OCI Data Transfer Service has all four of these. Let's look at the detail of the Data Transfer Service. It's a solution that allows us to migrate data to the cloud. In its initial version, customers will be able to use hard drives to transfer their data. We currently support both ATA 2.5 and 3.5 inch hard drives, and USB support will be added in the very near future. It's very easy for customers to use, and it's completely self-service. There is no need to talk to anyone at Oracle or even create a service request. The workflow itself is actually very straightforward. At any given time, the customer has full visibility into where the chain of custody of the data exists. We will update the status of the package at every stage. And when the customer ships the data, it's encrypted by the utility that we provide, that's or that Oracle provides, uh, to ensure that the data is, in is secure during the transit process. Once we receive the data, we upload it directly to the object storage bucket of the customer's account where that data is encrypted at rest as well. Again, the data is always secure from start to finish. Let's take a look at the terminology for what we will be using with this service. A transfer job is just an entry in the system to let Oracle know that you're about to transfer data to your object or archive storage. Remember that one transfer job equals one bucket. So if the customer needs to transfer data to multiple buckets, they would simply create individual transfer jobs for each destination bucket. A transfer device is a hard disk drive that is used to send the data to Oracle. The customer is responsible for procuring and prov providing these hard drives. They can then use the data transfer utility to prepare the drives for transfer. The transfer package itself is a logical grouping of transfer devices that's used to transfer data to Oracle. You can attach up to 10 transfer devices or 10 hard drives per transfer package.
Each transfer job consists of at least one transfer package. Each, each transfer package, as we mentioned, can have up to 10 transfer devices. Even though you can use 10 transfer devices, all the data will move to a single bucket, and maximum data allowed is one petabyte per transfer job. Now let's take a quick look at the workflow here. The first thing we need to do is create a transfer job using the console or the data transfer utility. While selecting a transfer job, we're simply asked to select the bucket and the compartment for the destination of the data. To create a transfer device, you need to use the data transfer utility. Attach the hard drive to a host, make sure there are no partitions on the hard drive already. If there are partitions, you will need to delete those before you begin. The data transfer utility will create a volume and mount it for copying the data. You can use standard OS commands to transfer data to this volume, where the data is then encrypted. Once you are done with creating all of the transfer devices, you need to generate a manifest file using the data transfer utility. The manifest file contains index and hash information for all the files. It's used to make sure that the data is not corrupted during transport. It's also used to create an upload dry run report. During upload dry run, the data transfer utility compares all of the files in the container with manifest files to make sure that there are no naming clashes. If there are, the customer will have to delete the appropriate files and run the report once more. Finally, you run the lock command using the data transfer utility to lock the transfer device. We would then repeat steps two through four for any additional transfer devices. Once complete, we will create a transfer package and select the transfer devices that we will be sending to Oracle. Package and ship the, the transfer devices with your preferred vendor, after which be sure to record the tracking number in the OCI management console so that the Oracle team can also track the package through the delivery process. Now on the back end, Oracle will proactively monitor the status of the package. Once we receive the package, we upload the data to the customer's object storage bucket that was selected while they created the data transfer job. Once we finish uploading, we will post the upload summary to the customer's object storage bucket. We then ship the package back to the customer utilizing a self-addressed label that's provided by the customer. Now let's walk through this process at a very high level. In the management console, we'll start by navigating to the data transfer service console and create transfer job. We simply pick a job or define a job name and then we specify the bucket where the data will be uploaded once received by Oracle. Now to create the transfer devices, once again, we'll attach those hard disk drives to a host, we'll create a transfer device using the data transfer utility, and we'll mount that drive within the file system. We'll then copy the data, create the manifest file, generate the dry run report to ensure that there aren't any duplicate files or conflicts. We'll then use the data transfer service to lock the devices, and we'll use the data transfer utility to also encrypt the copies of the config upload user config file for the transfer device. Next, we'll create the transfer package, selecting the carrier of our choice. And we'll go through the process of attaching each of the transfer devices to the transfer package. Remember, we can have up to 10 transfer devices per package. Now the last step here is to edit our transfer package and place in the shipping vendor along with the tracking ID for the shipping to Oracle and the tracking ID for the return shipping back to the customer. Now the best part about all of this is that the data transfer service is completely free for Oracle customers. They need only procure those commodity disk drives, download the data transfer utility, and begin to migrate data and create uh, transfer packages. So that's it. In this lesson, we described the need for the data transfer service. We talked about the sweet spot, uh, where it makes the most sense to leverage this, this tool. And then we looked through the process of creating a transfer job, creating transfer devices, and creating a transfer package.